Hi everybody, I'm back with my Walmart wax haul. Uh, it is kind of a lot, but I got everything that was on my wish list except for one. I'm still looking for blueberry bunt cake, but otherwise I got everything I wanted. I'm done shopping. Um, I'm gonna shop my stash. I've got tons of wax I need to go through. I feel really good about going on a wax band. I'm confident. Um, sounds like it's a big deal. It's not a big deal, but um, I don't feel I don't feel guilty about what I purchased today because like I said, I've got everything that I wanted except that one. Um, and so I feel I feel good about it. I'm on a wax band now officially. I know what can be done. Other people do it. I can do it too. It's just wax. I have so much wax to go through. But so let me just start with um, last year for Christmas, uh, one of my sisters gave me a diffuser and it worked a couple and, and lots of oils to go with it. It worked a couple of months and then it stopped. So Walmart has a really nice new selection of diffusers. They're really pretty. There was, I don't know, maybe six or eight different ones in two different sizes. This was the small one. I don't know what to compare it to. Maybe my, my mocha. Um, it has a, this one has a hundred milliliter reservoir. And this one I think was $21 and then they had a bigger one that was about $35. I don't, I didn't look to see what the, what the capacity was. So, um, I have all these oils that she sent me, so I'm going to start using them. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. I think I'm going to put it in the downstairs bathroom. Um, just a le one less wax place to melt, but that's okay. Um, and this one was pretty and the scroll design came in like a, this is kind of like a, a, blackish bronze like a brushed bronze I don't know if you can see if you let me get my, my my focals you can't really tell but along the edges it's sanded so you can see the bronze popping through under there and so that's what color my uh, taps are in that bathroom so I think that'll go good they also had a copper one and a like a brushed stainless one as well um, and then some other different um, styles as well so I'm kind of looking forward to getting that one going then I did buy two candles this one I've been looking for, like this is a Walmart that's kind of out of my way, but I'm kind of actually glad I made the trip because like I said, I got everything. I'm done now. I'm done. Um, this one is, okay, you can quote me on that. Please remind me, okay? She said, I'm done. Strawberry pretzel bars, which I've seen other people haul this candle. I did not see it in wax melts and I, do, I haven't seen anybody else haul it in wax melts either. So I don't think it does. It comes in a candle. So of course now I'm in, oh, that's so good. I've got my, um, I've been reminded to use my uh, candle crock because I made the lava ones. And then when I made that mixture of the Christmas um, wassail one, that kind of just reminded me to use that. So I am gonna melt this down and make some melts out of this one. It's so good. It's it definitely, you get your strawberry. You de there's cheese, that looks like cheesecake. and but it doesn't say that in the name, but definitely I'm getting strawberry cheesecake. I'm not sure if I'm getting the pretzel note, maybe a little bit of the crust, but this is to me, strawberry cheesecake. It's really good. So I'm going to make tarts out of that. Oh, and by the way, I bought another basket. This one is round. It's bigger than the other ones that I bought and it was $3 and 94 cents. Really, really nice. So this is gonna go upstairs. Um, for my collection of like Bath and Body Works body creams. I have quite a few body creams um, and uh, uh, Fragrance mists I have because I did kind of overbuy on the Birch and Argan. Not that I, I love it, but I have quite a few. I bought over overbought on the Peppermint Twist. I have some of that and I'm now kind of stocking up on Beach Nights, which is really good. Okay, anyway, so and the other candle I bought is Blue Hyacinth, and people are also talking about this one as well. This is a Mainstays brand. They also had the wax, wax melts in this, and I had the wax melts in my hand, and then I saw the candles, like, well, just a second now. This is 11 and a half ounces for $3.94. This is really good, and it's going to make a lot of wax melts, maybe like a dozen or so, I don't know, but I thought, you know, I'm on this melting kick, I might as well just keep on going. And so I'm not sure if this will fit in the crock or not, but if it doesn't, I have one of the flat, uh, you know, one of those white little $5 flat ones uh, from Walmart, so that'll do the job as well if it doesn't fit in the crock. I think it might, uh, we'll see. Okay, so then we got some wax. So let's stick with mainstays. And another one that was on my list that people are talking about is cherry pie. And this is really good. 
this is really good. Definitely, you get, it's definitely cherry pie. It's like the cherry pie filling out of the can. And I'm getting a pie crust note as well. Really good. Oh, I, I should have picked up some for somebody else. Okay, that was really good. Then I bought a Febreze game. I have had the Febreze, I still have some left, the Febreze downy one, the pink one. And I have to say, I like the downy one better. It's just, it's just laundry detergent. This one also is Gain laundry detergent. This, the Gain one is a little more, uh, maybe it's a little more floral or it's a little more perfumey. Not too strong, but a little more floral, I guess, than the Downy one. The Downy one is just straight up laundry detergent. I really like that one better, but I wanted to try this one as well. Then I got a couple duos, um, Better Homes and Gardens, Tropical Beach Getaway, which is beet fla beach flowers and dragon fruit. And even the duos were $2 as well. Just kind of fruity, a little bit of floral. I think that's going to be good. And the other duo I got was By the Pool, which is Splash and Coconut. I don't know if you can see that. And, oh, that's good too. I'm getting coconut. And the water, both scents together. I'm getting it. Yum, that's going to be really good. Okay, let's finish off with a couple more sensationals here. Let's finish off with Better Homes and Gardens. I got a pink guava hibiscus. And after I, when I got home, I haven't looked at my stash yet, but I think I bought this one already, but I'm not sure. But that's really kind of a juicy... A juicy fruity note not juicy fruit but you know juicy fruity this one Jamaican rum gelato this was recommended by one of my subscribers um, I'm not gonna say because I can't remember if it was one guy or the other guy I can't remember but thank you for the recommendation um, and I've had this before I've, I've had the opportunity to get it before I've saw it. this one actually I've seen in my Walmart and I had it in my cart and I put it back because I, there's something There's something a little bitter about it. But anyway, he said it was good, so we're gonna give it a go. Maybe I'll add that in this in next week's uh, rotation to the Walmart Wax Wednesday. And the last Better Homes and Gardens I got was uh, Mango Sorbet Limoncello. Uh, and this one, I'm not really getting any mango in this. I'm just getting lemon, lemon kind of limoncello. Very similar to, um, the uh, lemon basil one. I wonder if that one is Sensationals and this is Better Homes and Gardens. It's very similar to that. Um, hopefully, you know, when I melt it, the mango will come out, but right now all I'm getting is the lemon cello part of it. Uh, raspberry margarita. Does that look yummy or what? And I am, I'm getting, this is a scent, it's familiar to me, but I'm not, it's, uh, but it's not raspberry. I don't know, I, I, I don't know what I'm smelling. It's a familiar scent and it's a good scent, but I'm just not getting the raspberries. I'll have to see how that goes when it melts. And then the last sensationals was, uh, is Country Living Fresh Air and Orchard Apples. And I've seen a lot of people haul this and they say it's good also. Yeah, apples. Green apples. Isn't that funny how, how it's, it's definitely, you can tell the difference between this and a Macintosh in wax. It's funny. But I'm definitely getting green apple. Okay. All right. So, ta-da, the highlight. And like I said, it's, it is a, back, a big haul, I know, but I'm, I got everything I wanted, so I'm, I'm quite happy. I, I found all of the new essential oil uh, waxes, so I am super duper happy about that, and I did buy them all. This one is orange and cedarwood, and they're they're different. They're unusual. They're the combinations are really interesting. I'm really liking because I am getting the, a cedar note, like you know, a cedar closet or cedarwood. 
and I am getting the citrus in there. And so it's a different combination. It's interesting and I really, really like it. The next one is Black Currant and Bay. I'm getting a tart berry. And uh, a little bit of an herbal note. Is it bay leaf? I can't really say for sure, but I another good one as well. Vetiver and lemon. And I am getting lemon. And I'm not exactly sure what vetiver is. I meant to look it up. I mean, it's in wax all the time, but I wanted to know specifically what I was smelling because it's, make, it's giving this a slight cologne note. And I don't know, I'm assuming because it's the vetiver, but I just, I wanted to know exactly what vetiver was so I knew what I was smelling. But it's also good. Uh, this one is lemongrass and ginger. And the package, I mean, the, the photos on here are really, really nice. They're really pretty. Uh, lemongrass and ginger. Definitely I'm getting the ginger. And I'm getting lemongrass. Not lemon, but lemongrass. Just, you know, the long Asian herb. Lemongrass. Really, really like that. Four more. Lime and eucalyptus. Pretty. Definitely getting lime. Kind of like lime peel, the peel or the pith of the lime. Not juicy lime. And I'm getting a little eucalyptus. It's not overpowering. Eucalyptus can be really overpowering, you know, sinus cleansing. It's not like that at all. It's nice. It almost has a little bit of a sweet note to it, a sugary note, tiny bit. Geranium and patchouli. Uh, this one is a lot patchouli, a lot patchouli, a little bit of floral in the background, but mostly patchouli, like 70, 30. Uh, so patchouli is not your thing. You might want to pass on that, but pick it up and smell it. You might like it. These combinations are so interesting. You guys, I'm really loving them all. Uh, lavender and vanilla, which, you know, lavender, but Ooh, it's nice. It's a nice, soft lavender. It's a blend of the vanilla. I can do this one. I can do this one. I'm really liking that one. That one I might put in my bedroom tonight and see how it goes. Finally, the last one is rosemary and spearmint. And I'm getting spearmint first. That's what hits me first is the spearmint. Maybe a little bit of rosemary, maybe a little bit. I love fresh mo rosemary. I would like just rub it all over my body because I love it. So um, anyway, that is my Walmart wax haul. And so like I said, I'm totally fine with what I bought. I don't have the guilt at all. I got everything that was on my wish list so I'm, I can rest at ease now. I'm not gonna be on the hunt. The only thing I'm looking for is the blueberry bunt cake. Um, but that's it. So, um, you know, I want it. I do want to, but I'm not going to. I want to place a big uh, Sensi, well, not a big Sensi order. I have a list of some things, and it's a February sale month. But I'm not going to. I do definitely want to place a big Destination Wax order. I have a list going for that, but I'm not going to. I just, I, I don't need it. It's a want. It's not a need. Well, none of this is a need, but I'm done, you know. So, um, anyway, that's it for my crazy Walmart wax haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you can find them. I know they're taking a long time to get out. My closest Walmart didn't have them, so I went a little out of my way. I found them, but gee whiz, it's like mid-February now. And lots of people are posting their hauls, so hopefully you'll have yours soon too. Keep watching the stores. Um, so that's it, you guys. Have a great weekend. I will see you soon. Tomorrow is Sensi Saturday. Tune in. Bye.